Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. How to overcome the world. Everlasting God will deliver to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba, Olumba, or Buddha, Supernatural Teacher. First lesson, Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 13. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Second lesson, Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with, a, with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is set down on the right hand of the throne of God. Golden text, Matthew chapter 10, verses 31 to 33. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Introductory Spiritual Chorus Be ready, the Lord will come again. Be ready, the Lord will come again. Whatever one sows, the same shall one reap. Be steadfast. Quote, Beloved, if you have been neglecting all the Gospels you have been hearing, please do not neglect this particular Gospel. Take record of every sentence in this Gospel. This gospel reveals the problems of a lot of people, thus it intends to wake you up from your slumber. People regard this fold as a church, whereby after baptizing they, they stay back and concentrate in their businesses. This reveals that many people do not experience the joy here. I want you to hold this information at heart. Whatever you intend to do or have been doing, do it wholeheartedly. Listen to this chorus. Spiritual chorus. What can separate me from the love of God? Nothing can separate me. Even when temptation is great, nothing can separate me from God. Brethren, do not allow anything to separate you from the love of Christ. Brotherhood is not a church, neither is it a school or a hospital, nor a prayer house, but the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God suffers no violence. Why the impact is not really felt everywhere is because those that have embraced it are not many. 
Many take it as a joke. They do not regard it as a serious thing. Many others cannot be identified as brother of the cross and star because of their attitude. This is where your problem is. As I had earlier told you that if you had been neglecting other gospels, you should not neglect this one. Rather spread it round to the entire mankind to be aware. Any, anybody that professes to work for God but shall put his interest on the material things of this world has wiped his name from the book of life. Some are here for 20 years but have done nothing. Their 20 years are in vain and such people have not yet entered brotherhood. When Christ was baptized and the Spirit rested on him, do you know what happened since then? Before then, he did not have any disciples. He was still in his carpentry work. But right from the time the Holy Spirit descended on him, something happened. When you are not baptized, you are like a child. You do not know anything, but right from the time you are out from the water and the Spirit of God rests on you, if you are not steadfast and go back to the world, know that you are in danger of death. The Christ student natural choir has it in their song that our white garments are garnished with greatness. The white garment we are wearing is not far from. The holy name used in this kingdom should be called with reverence. Everything done in this kingdom needs utmost seriousness. In fact, the name brought out of the cross and star deserves great honor. His are too. The white garment was not worn carelessly. Some members testified to the fact that they would not use their sutan except when they are in the battles or Pentecostal halls. Else the worldly people would mock at them and would even want to tear the sutan off them. There was a reason for this. When one is not called into this kingdom, then one is still in slumber. Beloved, whoever receives the call of God should remember the scripture as quoted in our first lesson, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I, can, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting most things, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Brethren, this reveals why one should be steadfast in this kingdom. Recall the case of our Lord Jesus Christ when the Spirit of God rested on him after his baptism. The Spirit led him straight into the wilderness and he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. When the word wilderness is used, man sets his mind on a very thick forest. Wilderness here refers to Jerusalem. The scripture purportedly asked who would embark on building a house when he has not made an account of what he would buy to complete the building. Else the project becomes the thing of mockery to such a fellow. When you say you are baptizing to brother of the cross and star, 
your wife, your father, mother, children, relations, even your community will desert you and there would be intense war between you and these people. All your business partners and friends would not recognize you again. That is why many people complain that they are baptized and after a while they backslide. Some goals, same goals with eating of meat and fish. Some had done it for 100 days. Then after we go back to eat those things. It is not an easy task to refrain from eating meat and fish. A friend may come telling you, Oh, you are so weak. Your ribs are protruding. You would die. Start eating flesh so as to have enough protein in you and so on. The moment you heed this instruction you are fallen same thing with the case of walking barefooted you would be gossiped in your entire locality and people would be calling you a mad fellow hearing this you would start wearing shoes whereby you fail this is why you are told that if you do not hold fast in this kingdom you shall fall and shall never enjoy it but if you hold fast unto it you have overcome do not seek any position in this kingdom whosoever is called in here should gird his or her loins as a member of this fold if you are given any position as chairman or president of any organization or fellowship, you should realize the demands of the office. Realizing this, you would reject the appointment. This is the reason why many people here run away from their posts. This explains why you are told to look unto our Lord Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. When you follow him, you will surely overcome. Our Lord Jesus Christ was the first child of Mary, as well as Joseph. As such, he ought to have taken care of the other members of the family. But right from the day he was baptized, he had no business again with them. He concentrated on the assignments he was assigned for. Now, when when people now many people here in this fold after their baptism still behave as though they are not baptized into this kingdom, most people who had forsaken fornication now go back to it. Others who had deserted other sins are now wallowing in it because they do not hold fast unto God. In order to justify the fact that you are of more value than many sparrows, you have to hold on to me and be steadfast in my work. When you do this, I will also hold on to you. Whosoever is ashamed of me, same will I be ashamed of before my Father in heaven. Accept, brother of the cross and star, with all your power, all your might and strength. When you do this, you will overcome. But when you do not accept this fall with much seriousness, you will stand to lose everything. This is the kingdom of God and never a kingdom of the world. If you fight and overcome, you will gain your glory. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 13. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I can apprehend. I am apprehended 
of Jesus Christ. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Brethren, whoever is called into this kingdom should hold it, hold on to it, do not waver, even though you are thrown into a burning fire, stand firm, for you have overcome. Whatever you are told to do here, do the same, do so that you may overcome. Walk according to the directives of the Holy Spirit, and you will surely overcome. For nobody has ever accepted brotherhood of the cross and star and fails to benefit immensely from it. If your husband, on realizing that you are baptized, that you are a baptized member of this fold, ask you to choose between him and the fold. If you choose your husband, you have failed woefully. The same is applicable to the man. Though your property could be carted away by thieves and you are driven from your house into a bush, stand firm and continue in the work of God for you have overcome. If you deny brotherhood of the cross and star because your father has collected the things he gave you and your mother is angry with you, thus lamenting that brotherhood is not helping you which leads to backsliding from the fold know that you are a frustrated person without any sense of direction this is one of the reasons why people leave this fold only to say I was once a brotherhood member, but I left the fold. The question is, since they left brotherhood, how are they progressing? All those that backslide from brotherhood of the cross and star cannot progress. As a baptized brotherhood, if you deny the fold so that you may not be sucked from your place of work, you have failed woefully. When you are steadfast, you shall surely overcome. So many people in this fold have diverse problems. The moment they get baptized, their businesses collapse, their children and spouse desert them, their health deteriorate. But when they are steadfast, those things are given back to them in more number. We are told to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, for all other things shall be added unto us. In line with this, you are advised to be steadfast in the service of God in spite of any derogatory name that you may be called even though you are stripped of your clothes stand firm in wait of what the future has in stock for you for the joy in future is inexplicable this explains why those who are used to these problems should stay close with the newly baptized members, else they fall into the snares of the world. And once they fall, they become frustrated. They need some encouraging words and comfort. In a song, it is said, Take the whole world and give me Jesus. In tune, with this song, take all the material things and give me Jesus in this kingdom. Whosoever does not stand firm will surely be eluded of this glory. 
just as Lot's wife who perished because of the mundane things of the world recall how the angels sent to destroy the two cities of Sodom and Gomorrah instructed Lot and his family not to look back when they depart from the place. What do you think was the significance of this statement? It signified that they should not think of their riches but should go out without those thoughts in their minds. When you are baptized into this fold, know that you are for Christ. Do not go back to the world. Do not fornicate, steal or commit any vice. For when you do this, you have declined from this, from his teaching. That was why Paul asked the other disciples whether it was not right for him to suffer tribulation so as to gain the eternal glory. A local adage has it that dry dog meat is palatable, but what will one eat till the meat is properly dried? In this kingdom, many people have the problem of indecision. Thus, they end up making wrong decisions. This is because they do not hold fast to the one in their midst. People here decide to build houses, train their children, and be highly positioned before they serve God. Those decisions, however, get them frustrated. Others claim to be true brotherhood, but truly they are not because were they member of this fold, they would have stood firm. If Christ did not stand firm in his father's work, he would have accepted the kingship position offered to him. The Lord knew that he was given the post because of the bread and fish he was giving them. Thus, he fled from them. Brother of the cross and star is a place where many things are revealed. If one was a king in the world, did day one get baptized into brotherhood, one is no longer a king. If you were a person of high personality, people will run away from you and you will be overthrown. And during this period of temptation, if you backslide, you are perished for you are treading on the wrong path. In Revelation chapter 2 verses 20 to 24, the issue of fornication was as taken to Israel by Queen Jezebel is brought into focus. She also caused the Israelites to eat things sacrificed to idols. Such was not what God wanted them to do. Nevertheless, I have a few things against thee because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel which called herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols and I gave her space to repent of her fornication and she repented not behold i will cast her into a bed and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation except they repent of their deeds and i will kill her children with death and all the churches shall know that i am he which search at the hearts and rain, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Brethren, the world has an obscure way of causing one to fall. When she knows that you are, you are firm in God, 
they will desert you first. On realizing that you are impregnable, she returns with some cunning words. She would trap you by all means, such as giving you a kinship position, telling you that you are the most intelligent person amongst the others. Having been so lured, you fall into a snare. At that juncture, you will be well fed, given a woman of your choice, prestigious cars, and so on. As such, you backslide to enjoy those things. The people of the world are as wise as a serpent, but he who stands firm in God shall surely overcome. Like Paul had said, though these little tribulations we are witnessing cannot be compared with the glory that lies in wait for us in future, for this glory is great and incomparable. Stand firm and hold on to Christ. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 to 4. Wherefore, seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Brethren, the way of God is very simple to follow if you heed his pieces of advice and put them into practice. If you do not receive these teachings, you cannot enter into his kingdom. That is why you are told to ignore all the tribulations and problems facing you and face the task laid before you. Many people fail in their task because they want to solve their family problem and every other problem that beset them before they face the task laid before them. Anybody called by God who trusts so much in the mundane things of the world has failed in the execution of his assignment. This is because the scripture has stated clearly that whosoever does not hate his father, mother, children, and even his life can never be Christ's disciple. Read the golden text again. Golden text, Matthew chapter 10, verses 31 to 33. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Brethren, do not complain of lack of money or good health, but first accept God and everything will be well. Do not listen to anybody. Whatever is done against you should not really bother you, but you should be rest assured that you are saved in the kingdom of God. Though you may be deprived of your spouse or your children or anything, stand firm and shout for joy and you will overcome. No matter how the world may try to lure you to the to yourself, Say, by appointing you a king, 
do not accept the appointment, but stand firm in Christ, for he has nothing to do with the world. Recall how Satan the tempter tempted the Lord Jesus as he told Christ that if he would bow down to him, he would hand over all the things in the world to him. Our Lord Jesus Christ rebuked and told him that he alone must serve God and unto him must he bow down. Whoever tempts you with any worldly thing should have the same reply. Even when you are sick and people ask you to do anything that is against brother to cross and star doctrine, reject the suggestions outrightly even if you are promised certain amount of money to build a house. Tell the persons or persons that you are satisfied with God as well as Christ. If you fall to Satan's promises, know that you will surely perish for you have not overcome. Many people who had accepted Christ have backslided because their positions in the world are threatened. But do not forget that backsliding is tantamount to this to denying him before men. Denying the worldly things means you are firmly rooted with Christ and you are given the right to be his child. I use earthly things to illustrate the heavenly things. Brethren, here's an illustration. There was a city that did not want to hear anything about God. The crusaders sent tracts to the people, but they rejected the tracts and told them they had their own God. When the crusaders teamed up and went there, the village council ordered that nobody should attend to them or else a drastic measure would be taken against such a fellow. But the queen of that city went to the crusaders and worshipped with them. When the crusaders, when the case was reported to the council chief, they were embitt embittered with her and a law was passed that everybody should dissociate from her. In spite of the difficulties the queens faced, she stood firm with Christ. She attended every meeting in the village freely, but the people did everything to eliminate her. But she stood firm and walked majestically anywhere she went. The people were marveled at the queen's disposition. Later, the people summoned a meeting where a poison was brought out and two emissaries were sent with the poison to the queen. The emissaries were charged with the compulsory duty of forcing the queen to drink the poison before they depart from her house. That was accordingly, accordingly done and the queen drank all the poison and even demanded for more. After a while, she started experiencing some stomachache. But after calling on the name of Jesus three times, the poison was subdued. Then she went about singing in her room. The two men went back and told the council that they had given her the poison but that she was still alive and singing. The people were surprised and thus sent for her. When she arrived at the venue, she was still dancing and singing. Before the chiefs, the queen asked them if they had more 
of the deadly poison, the people were surprised and asked her whether the poison was given to her. She told them it was and that nothing happened. The councilmen were surprised and then announced that the whole village should assemble at the council hall. When the villagers were gathered, the council head rose up and told the whole village what happened and further told them that the god that the queen was worshipping was greater than their god because upon all what they did to her she was not affected and that she should and that she stand by her god and he also stood by her then the head turned to the queen and told her to go and bring the crusaders so that they may pray for them and confess that they had submitted to and they had submitted to the almighty god right from that day everybody in that city accepted christianity until today the city is a christian community beloved have you seen the glory that was kept for the queen i have told you that anybody that stands firm by me i too will stand firm by him in whatever condition you find yourself stand by god even though you are lonely rejoice for you have christ with you you may be mocked because you do not have a house or one to help you do not mind stand firm by him and you shall overcome many people are still hiding their identity as brother of the cross and star members but i admonish you that you should not be afraid of anybody not even your wife or your husband or your children or relation stand firm by him and you shall overcome when you continue to hide your identity and deny god god will also deny you before his angel you may be mocked at because you do not associate yourself with eating of meat or fish and drinking or fornicating and all the other vices stand firm and hold unto him for eternal life peace joy and other bliss awaits you in the future that is why the scripture tells you tells us that anybody that loves the world has no love of god in him and anybody that surrenders to the world and the things thereof has no share in this kingdom you have been told that god used six days to create the whole world and rested on the seventh day this is no longer the issue of the day but the case hangs on the fact that the world with her loss is fast passing away but the will of god the father abides forever brethren it is said that a stroke of the cane is enough for the wise let either of ears to hear let him hear may god bless his holy words amen end of quote peace in the name of our lord jesus christ amen thank you father